Hey everybody, Thrift Store Hacker back again, and today we are removing the lead acid batteries from the bike permanently. This is going to shed 20 pounds. In my previous video, you saw that we weighed the batteries. Uh, these came out to, what's it about, just under 25 pounds. And the lithium ion pack came out to just a little over 4 pounds. So we're going to shed a lot of weight today. It's probably going to make the bike run better, get better range and all that fun stuff. So, now that I have the battery off, I also took off the ammo box on the other side just to shed a little bit more weight. Um, I'm actually going to put the uh, batteries up here. The lithium ion pack will go up there until I finalize the batteries in it and it'll be easier to test and you know, we're going to do a bunch of testing and stuff on it. So after pulling that ammo box off and cleaning up all the wiring that was going down to it, the wiring on the bike looks pretty good now. As you can see, that cover on the seat is actually a fabric cover I made for the battery and all the electrics, so it kind of stashes them away a bit. Makes the bike look a little bit cleaner. But I think with the motor on one side and the battery pack on the other side, or on the top there, it should be fairly well balanced and will ride a lot better. So let me go grab the battery pack and we'll take it out for a run. So as soon as I got home, I grabbed my voltmeter, I started checking all these packs. And most of the packs are at 3.85 and they're only varying by 0 .01 volts on the pack. So you know there are some 3.84s and some 3.86s, which is telling me this pack is really well balanced out, which is amazing for being recycled laptop batteries. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep on running them. I'm going to put about four or five more cycles into them. Some really good full cycles. And we're going to check and make sure that the uh, each one of these little packs is holding about the same app hour capacity. When I'm finished with that, I can take all of these out of the battery slots and spot weld them together and make a 
standard looking battery pack. And then I can move on to the next set of batteries that I have from charging these up, which they weren't the greatest of batteries, so you know we'll see what kind of pack we can make out of those. But I also have a little screen coming for these that'll tell me the voltage on each one of the packs as I'm riding down the street, which will be very, very informative. But that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed the show, enjoyed uh, my quick little ride down Virginia Street there. Uh, until next time, build stuff and have fun.